Hey, in Boston Common, uh, which is where the Freedom Tour starts, uh, the place is deserted. You can see uh, all the snow from the last few days. Uh, it's uh, just gone eight. Uh, maybe that's why the whole place is deserted. Um, but for me, on my consultation here, it's it's almost as if almost as if I was explore, exploring the ruins of uh, of the Commonwealth of downtown Boston, which is quite nice. Uh, so, yeah, cold. Over on my uh, left here is. Um, the pond, the frog pond, but in Fallout 4 it's Swan's Pond. Swan is a super mutant behemoth who lives here. And, uh, yeah, if you manage to kill him, it just becomes a breeding ground for raiders and um, gunners. So this is it. This is the start of the Freedom Trail. Uh, there's a visitor center just behind me. Again, Fallout 4. Um, you get a little uh, tour guide robot who tells you all about the history of uh, the revolution, um, what happened, and uh, this is where we would start our journey to try and find uh, the railroad to help the synths of the Commonwealth. And just across the road, not quite a Slocum Joe's, but uh, I think we'll give it a try. Uh, this here is Park Lane, sorry, Park Street. Park Lane, of course, is in Monopoly. Uh, Park Street Station. Uh, this is the location of Vault 114, which was uncompleted by the time of the Great War. Uh, but it has become home to a faction of ghouls known as the Trigger Men, who kind of model themselves after 1930s gangsters. And it's here one has to rescue um, Nick Valentine from a mobster and his mob. House which doesn't have much of a significant role to play, actually. It's just overrun with uh, Mylurks in the lower levels and a bunch of dead raiders. But uh, check out the gilding on the roof. Here is the old granary burial ground. Uh, this is where some of the leaders of the revolution have been uh, interned. There's, as you can see in the distance, he says zooming in. There's Benjamin Franklin's grave, Paul Revere is here, and a few others. Uh, I'm not gonna make any more videos in here cause you know, cemetery and all that, but I will take a few photos. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry there, I lied to you. That was not Franklin's grave, that was Franklin's parents' grave. He's interred in Philadelphia. Uh, but yes, that was uh, an interesting cemetery. Didn't know Mother Goose was buried there, but there we go. Um, so across the road, no, nope, couldn't see that properly. Uh, let's try it again. Uh, is the Beantown Pub. Now that doesn't have any relevance to Fallout 4, but the Beantown Brewery, which is just across the River Charles does, it's where you have to go and uh, blast a whole bunch of raiders. A lot of fun. Um, so continuing on with the, uh, the old tour. Not sure which stops next, but uh, after the screen wipe, we'll find out. So as you can see uh, from the uh, building, this is the old city hall. This doesn't actually have a role to play in uh, Fallout 4, but um, we are in the district Beacon Hill. We're on Beacon Street, and this is where vault Tech has a, an office in downtown Boston, and all sorts of other raiders make their home here. Um, it's actually quite, quite contemporary uh, for an old city hall. I don't know when it was built, um, but whoever whoever built it, yeah, certainly had a, a fair imagination. Not sure what the donkey's doing, not sure who those folks are, but uh, I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Uh, now here's Mr. Franklin, uh, polymath, genius, and the best president that the USA never ever had. And this rather stern looking fellow is Josiah Quincy, who presumably the district of Quincy in South Boston is named. Uh, local man, um, whoops. Um, doesn't have much of a national reputation, but uh, 
Yeah, I think he gave uh, a lot to the development of uh, Boston um, in the years following independence. Ah, so it seems that the donkey is literally that of the Democrat Party and there's a little plaque on the floor. Uh, it's just going closer. You can see a couple of um, elephants on there stand in opposition to the Democrat because of course Boston has long been a stronghold of the Democrat Party. Uh, the Kennedys, of course, very Democratic um, supporters. Yeah. Hard to tell if it's a uh, if it's erected by any one party in particular or if it's just a uh, just a nice thing to have outside the city hall, but there we are. So why am I filming a Chipotle? Well, this is the old corner bookstore, bookhouse, um, which was a sort of a cultural meeting point for authors, both aspiring and published back in the 19th century. So this is not connected with the revolutionary period, um, but uh, again in Fallout, um, it's one of the few safe spots actually. There's there's nothing going on inside as it were. Uh, just a, a nice space to uh, hang out, pick up a few bits of junk and uh, melt them down for goods and services. Um, but yeah, Chipotle as a, uh, hmm, not sure I necessarily approve of the uh, cultural misappropriation, but uh, well, I'm sure they pay their rent on time. Ah, right, behind me is the Old South Meeting House, a church where Franklin was baptized, but more importantly, uh, for this city, this is where the colonists uh, met before they uh, launched the Boston Tea Party. Um, and uh, was basically a sort of a central meeting point for Bostonians in the revolution. Ah, so behind me is the uh, old state house, which in Fallout 4 is uh, the heart of Good Neighbor where John Hancock rules the little neighborhood, uh, which is full of all sorts of freaks and ghouls and other undesirables uh, in the Commonwealth. Uh, and the balcony behind me is where he makes his pronouncements to the people. Um, you almost want the devilish rogue to pop out onto the balcony and, and give his for the people of the people type speech. Um, but this is also the site of the uh, Boston, Boston mm -hmm. Massacre, 1770. Uh, yes, another great shining example of British um, tact and diplomacy in the 18th century. My God, we never learned. Because um, we've only carried it on for another 200 years. Hooray! Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is how I pronounce it anyway, Fanel Hall or Fanel Hall. Uh, not sure exactly, but um, this is a market, indoor market, uh, and trading house, trading post site, um, built by a, what we're now calling in 2019, a notorious Boston slave trader. And there is a uh, thing at the moment to try and get the name of the building changed uh, to something else. I have no idea what. Um, not sure how I feel about all this building renaming. It's a bit 1984 unperson type thing. Uh, just over here, we've got a statue of Sam Adams. Uh, sorry, the sun is right in my face and I'm stupidly leaving my sunglasses in my bag. Um, uh, but yes, he was the, uh, the governor of uh, Boston, I think during the, uh, the independence and they named a, a terrible, terrible beer after him. Um, and there's the North Market over there in the distance um, with a few more statues. Uh, yeah, surprisingly for quarter to 10 in the morning, there's not many people about. Um, although I will say those people who I have seen out and about today, uh, there, there, there is more than a strong smell of weed off of coming off of them. Don't know if that kind of thing is legal here in Massachusetts or not. But, uh, oh man, it funks. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can go in because Phil said you can get amazing cake in here. Uh, so I'll let you know.